name is Nossa. Some people call me Nos. I'm a child of God and I'm unashamed. So the title of my message is, Have I Not Sent Thee? Have I Not Sent Thee? So if you have your Bible there, just turn quickly to Judges chapter 6, verses 11 to 16. And I just want to read the first two, two, or two or three verses from verse 11. It says, Now the angel of the Lord came and sat under the terebinth tree, which was in Opera, which belonged to Joash the Abizrite, while his son Gideon threshed wheat in the winepress in order to hide it from the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, the Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. You mighty man of valor. Gideon said to him, Oh my Lord, if the Lord is with us, why then has all this happened to us? And where are all his miracles, which our fathers told us about, saying, Did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? But now the Lord has forsaken us and delivered us into the hands of the Midianites. Then the Lord turned to him and, and said, Go in this might of yours, and you shall save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I not sent you? Have I not sent you? The title of my message is, Have I Not Sent You? And that is the call, even today. God is speaking to you and he's saying, Have I Not Sent You? When we look at the life of Gideon, we find that Gideon was uh, part of the tribe of Manasseh, which was in the land of Israel. And we understand that Israel was a, a nation that was set apart unto God. Israel was a, a, a nation that God had firmly on his heart. But in spite of all the miracles, in spite of all the triumphant victories that God gave Israel, we find that they had strayed away from the ways of God. They had fallen into apostasy and ungodliness and the, the very things that God detested were the very things that they indulged in. But you see, in every paganistic society, in every um, nation that turns away from God, God is always seeking that individual who will show themselves strong on behalf of him. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles 16 and 9 that the eyes of the Lord are you know, searching to and fro, seeking that individual that will show themselves strong on behalf of him. And in this particular passage, we find that it was Gideon. But let us look and explore who Gideon was. Now, Gideon was evidently from verse 11 a man that was afraid a man that was intimidated because he had seen the might of the Midianites he was hiding in a wine press you know so that the Midianites wouldn't take his his wheat and his possessions but in the midst of his of his fear in the midst of that downtrodden state we find that the angel of the Lord God himself appeared to him and said thou mighty man of valor you see those words are very important because we that that shows the mind of God about Gideon we see that he was a mighty man of valor he may have seen himself as someone who was timid someone who was afraid but we find that God saw him differently I want to challenge you and tell you that God sees you differently you may see yourself as someone who is timid someone who is afraid someone who is not willing to step out in faith sometimes and really be everything that God has called you to be but I want to tell you that God sees you differently God saw Gideon as a man a mighty man of valor and God sees you as someone that is precious someone that is loved someone that is blessed someone that he can use to shake this nation with the fire of God and with the love of Jesus Christ I want to tell you that in spite of what you think you need to understand what God thinks about you God cares for you, God loves you, and there is a bigger plan, there is a bigger assignment for you to fulfill. For, for you to fulfill. Have I not sent thee? That is the call of God to you today. God is saying, has he not sent you? Has he not sent you to be a light into the world? The Bible says we are the light of the world, Matthew chapter five. God is saying, have I not sent you? As God sent out Gideon to bring deliverance to the land of Israel, we find that when we read in subsequent chapters, Israel prevailed prevailed over their enemies and God is saying that you can prevail in this life the Bible says in in Romans 8 I believe that we are more than conquerors through him that has loved us you need to understand who you are in God you need to understand that there is a bigger plan and there's a bigger purpose over your life and when you understand that that is where you can therefore walk in the fullness of it God is saying have I not sent you have I not sent you? You may look at yourself and think you're not worthy, you're not capable, but don't see yourself the way you see yourself, but see yourself the way God sees you. God loves you, God cares for you. 
and it is time you arise and be everything he's called you to be. And I'll leave you with this one thing. The Bible says in Romans chapter 1 and verse 16, Paul said, very, Paul said something very profound. He said, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ because it is the power of God unto salvation. When you understand who you are, then you can walk in boldness. You can walk proud. You can walk confidently knowing in whom you have believed and knowing that in spite of what you go through, we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God. So I challenge you, go out, arise, be everything God has called you to be. Don't let anything hinder you because you are blessed, you are loved, and there is a bigger plan for your life. This is Unashamed.